going up. He check, he check, he check. I gotta take this. He check, he check, he check. You gotta respect the heat check, he check. <sighs> if anybody knows me, knows very well that I like sagas in my life. And I don't know if I can say that I like them that much, but they just happen. Now, I bought the Yeezy Foam Runners in a size 12 at retail from Adidas Confirm. The size 12 was absolutely massive compared to my Vermilion colorway, and I wasn't a huge fan of that. So I decided to go to SneakerCon. He check, he check, it's going up. He check, he check, he check. I gotta take this heat check, he check, he check. You gotta respect the heat check, he check, he check. I'm gonna remind him. SneakerCon was a lot of fun. I was really on a mission to do a size swap and obviously check out the sneakers out there and, you know, also pick up a pair of those Panda Dunks. Uh, for Joss as a little gift just because, you know, why not? While I was at SneakerCon, I ran into PJ Tucker, took a quick picture, whether he liked it or not. We have a picture together now. PJ Tucker is a huge sneaker collector and he has a massive collection of super rare sneakers. So it was kind of cool to have him in that environment at this Miami Got Soul uh, sneaker convention and it was pretty dope to run into him. Uh, Rich the Kid, who made New Freezer and a few different songs. Um, he was also there. Obviously, Kais Omar was there too, and that was a big attraction for me to go. Uh, really was because of Kais. For all the people that know me on this channel, the dude is one of the biggest inspirations for why I'm doing this today. Going around this sneaker con at Got Soul, it was so cool to just be in this environment. And every time I go to these sneaker cons, it's always the same thing. I'm in this environment with other people that have the same love for sneakers as you do. And obviously some people have more of a love and some people have a mutual love for sneakers. So it's really cool to connect with people and sometimes just meet new people and make friends in general. Um, and just chop it up about sneakers because for the most part in my life I don't really have a lot of sneaker heads around me. Except I am turning Joss into a sneaker head. Overall guys, SneakerCon was a movie. I really wish I got a lot more footage, but sometimes when you go out there and you begin vlogging and some of the content creators know out there, you just want to be in the moment sometimes, and I think that that's what I was doing. It was my, you know, first sneaker con in a year. Nothing crazy happened. I really wanted to do some trades, and that's what I was really going to make this video a lot more about is the trades that I wanted to make for it. I had a pair of semi-frozen yellows that I wanted to trade, possibly for some Yeezy 700s and Wave Runner colorway, um, but that didn't happen. Nobody out there wanted to get that trade going. Uh, nobody wanted to trade in general. Now if anybody in the sneaker community knows, you will get an absolute no until you finally ask the right person that wants to make that trade with you. So never give up. And you know, I went to almost every vendor um, in there and asking them the same question. It doesn't mean that that's what it's gonna be like all the time. But in my situation right here, nobody wanted to make a trade for my semi frozen yellows for Wave Runners straight up. Uh, so it is what it is. Next sneaker con is August 7th, I believe, and it's actually gonna be in my hometown of West Palm Beach, Florida. So I will be going to that sneaker con uh, coming up in the next month. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. I know this was a pretty short one, but I wanted to try something new and kind of give you guys a little rundown about what happened at sneaker con. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching the video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and please be sure to share. Joel to TV. Out. I said out. All right, out, 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 out.